Okay, we have another integral from the MIT integration be 2024. This is from quarterfinals, round two, number three. We have the integral from zero to one of one minus the 2024th root of x to the 2024 dx. Okay, there's actually a formula for this where we could basically kind of go right to a solution right away, but I'm not sure it's that familiar. So let's, let's kind of do a u substitution to try to clean it up a little bit first. So what I want to do is a u substitution here just for the 2024th root of x. So we'll come over here and do this. And then of course, what I can do to clean this up is let's take the, let's solve for X and take the 2024th power on both sides. So then that's gonna isolate X here, but then U is gonna become U to the 2024. Then we'll take a derivative here to get the DX value. So DX, maybe I need a little more space. So let's come over here. So DX is gonna be 2024 U, 2023 du and i'll go ahead and we'll just do this so first up in the bounds plugging in one 2024 through to one is just one and then you plug in zero and this is still zero so that's nice the balance didn't change at all then here this is going to transform into one minus u and the power doesn't change it's going to be 2024 and then for dx we have this but for the 2024 i'll bring that all the way out front here and so we're just going to have this part this is going to become u 2023 du but then for this here what's this for this we can use everyone's least favorite method the beta function okay so we have our formula over here and it's perfectly set up we have it in x and this is in u but that doesn't matter if we have this in a different order but that also isn't going to matter and what this is going to allow us to do express our solution in terms of the gamma function now for the gamma function there is one other thing we're going to use is we can express the gamma function as factorial in order to calculate this so if you have something like let's just say gamma of n plus one, you can calculate this as just n factorial. Now, one change I can make in order to make this work, we've got 2024 exponent here. To get it exactly like our formula, I can rewrite this as 2025 minus one. And then same kind of thing here. I'll write this as 2024 minus one. And so going ahead with this, we'll just bring this piece down. So we have our 2024 in front, and then here, this is our Z1 and this is our Z2. So this is gonna become gamma of 2025 over gamma of 2024. And then now we just add these two together. So in the denominator, we're gonna have Z1 plus Z2. So it's gonna become gamma of 40, 49. But now we can use this thing to simplify it. So we still have our 2024 in front. I'll put this all in the numerator like this. Then 2025 is gonna become 2024 factorial. And then this is gonna become 2020 three factorial and this is going to be all over 40 48 factorial but then here 2024 times 2023 factorial i can just multiply those together and rewrite this as 2024 factorial and this right here is fine we can actually leave this but i'm going to try to get this into the same form they have this in the answer key so what i'm going to do is flip it take the reciprocal of this and write it as one over 40 48 factorial over 2024 factorial but the reason for doing this, we can rewrite again, just noticing that what we have right here, this piece, this whole thing, because this thing right here is in the same form as the binomial coefficient or n choose k. So for my final solution is I can write this as one over 40, 48, choose 2024, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Everyone's least favorite method, the beta function. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.